What's up guys, I am finally back with another video. I am sorry that I've been MIA on this channel for a while now, but I've just been focused on my other channels like my vlog channel, uh, me and Donovan's channel, uh, more consistent on my vlog channel and probably the one that me and Donovan have together. Um, just because I've, it's kind of easy just to upload videos on there. Like with my tech videos, I care about them so much. I have to like put so much time and effort and I like to come up with great content ideas and I just don't want to put out anything that I'm not proud of. So uh, that's just me being honest, but I'm going to be doing a lot better on this channel with videos. I promise that. But enough rambling. I'm going to get on with this video. So Apple just wrapped up their event on Monday. Today's Thursday. I'm a couple days late, but I still wanted to get a video to you guys since I missed all the rumors and everything else. But uh, before the Apple event, and yeah, I'm just going to tell you everything they announced and big changes in the new products that they released. So. So first off, we have WatchOS 4, which has new watch faces, including a Siri face that is controlled by your own preferences and routines. Uh, it has relevant, more relevant information like uh, tailored to you and um, like basically with your own preferences. So it's just geared more to a user friendly. Um, we have a kaleidoscope face they added. Um, they even added a Toy Story character face. They already did have uh, Mickey, Minnie, and all of those characters. Revamp music app with more workout modes that tells you how much time you need to walk to fill in your activity ring and reach your goal. Moving on to Mac OS. This is probably one of the biggest changes. Uh, this version is going to be called Mac OS High Sierra. It includes a lot of optimizations, refinements. Most of all, uh, most of these improvements actually are in Safari which Apple claims is the fastest browser compared to any other competitors like Google Chrome and all the other browsers. There's also ad prevention, which is like when you're browsing, like say on Amazon, you're looking at different things, you add some stuff to your cart and you go to another website, you see those same items. That means that you're being tracked. So that is no longer going to be uh, a thing uh, thanks to ad prevention. Next, we have full screen split view. So we already had that, but now it's going to be able to work with a lot more to it, like mail, like when you're composing an email, you look at your inbox and compose an email at the same time. And also mail takes up a less storage, which is a plus because I don't know about you guys, but I have so many emails and to try to get to all of them, it's ridiculous. They also take up so much storage. That's where a lot of my storage goes to. There's a lot of new improvements to photos, to the photos app, uh, features will sync up. Photoshop, like say if you're editing in the photo application, whatever you're doing over there will automatically sync over to Photoshop if you're a Photoshop user. Next, we have Apple File System, which we already knew was coming uh, with improvements in GPU performance with Metal 2, but that only works with newer Macs. So if you don't have the newer Mac, you will obviously not have Metal 2. You'll have the same amount of GPU performance. We have support now for external graphics built into Mac OS. Uh, we have VR is also coming to the Mac. Um, so you're now able to edit VR in Final Cut Pro and a lot of other third party apps. With this new version of Mac OS, there is also a new version of the iMac. This iMac comes with faster storage, KB Lake processors, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is the most RAM they've ever had um, on an iMac to that amount. Um, that's only going to be actually on the 27 inch model. Two new USB-C ports I have an all new display that is said to be one of the best displays ever put on an iMac. It makes it up to 500 nits brighter. Uh, we have next generation graphics with 80% faster graphics on the 21 inch model and three times faster on the 27 inch model. There is also a difference in price for the mid-range 
with 4K. It did go down to $14.99. They kind of skipped over the MacBook lineup. They do all have now KB Lake processors. There's not really a big, big upgrade as far as design change. They have 50% faster storage on the MacBook, and you will get faster standard graphics on the 15-inch model MacBooks as well. Making the 13-inch model MacBook go down to $12.99, but nothing too exciting happened to the MacBooks this year. Um, maybe in the future, we don't know. They could have another Apple event when the iPhone 8 comes out and maybe they'll update them then or we may not get one probably till next year. Now Apple did announce their new iMac Pro today which was probably the I was the most excited over when I was watching the Apple event. Uh, it's said to be the most powerful Mac they have ever created. It comes in a dope jet black color uh, that just looks too much to get it. like it hurts my eyes when I look at it. It comes with matching accessories uh, with a magic mouse and keyboard obviously in the same jet black color but these accessories you can't just buy separately they only are available with the iMac Pro. It does have a Xenon processor, a cooling system to keep it cool so you'll no longer have an overheated computer. You do have the choice of 8 10 or 18 core processors uh, you can even have up to 128 gigabytes of RAM it does have Radeon Vega graphics it has a Ethernet port a USB-C port and overall this iMac is just made for professionals uh, video creators and for like anybody that is looking for a beast of a machine it does start at $4,999. It's going to kill your wallet. But, I mean, if you got it like that, anybody that's watching, be my guest, go purchase it. I was literally talking to Donovan about this. The only way I would spend that amount of money on a computer or an iMac in general is if we were actually, we were actually taking our videos to the next level and we're like, with our company, we're planning on owning our own business. That is probably the only reason why I would spend that type of money on a computer. But overall, I think it's a great investment if if you need it for that. But it's not available until December. So they kind of tease us with it now. Uh, we won't be able to get it till December. Starting off with iOS 11. I was so hyped about this update when it was revealed. They started off by telling us what new technologies are inside of it. It has a ton of new features and a lot of add-ons that just make iOS more tailored to your needs. Apple Pay Cash where your money is secured so it's instantly available at your convenience. We have a redesigned app drawer so uh, you'll be able to see that inside of iMessages. It's a lot simpler, organized, and iMessages, all of your messages on one device will automatically sync across all your devices and if you delete a message on one device, it'll delete across all of them, which we didn't have before. You had to manually delete it off of every device. And yeah, that just overall frees up a lot of storage that way. Siri got a big update, which makes her sound a lot natural instead of computerized new male and female voice it has a new interface that will show you results and translate different things in other languages which is pretty cool because I think some more there's like several apps actually that will translate different things um, in another language if you need it like Google Translate and all that other stuff moving on to cameras Apple implemented their new H.264 compression which if you're not a tech person, it simply means that your pictures and videos will take up to two times less storage than they have ever before. So now you can have double the photos and less storage. iPhotos has more features like loops to play over and over again uh, with a image that you can choose like bounce. We have that's a feature. You can make your live photo rock back and forth or we have long exposure that allows you to add a blurred effect on things in your image that you used to only be able to do on a DSLR camera with a really special lens. 
Now on to iOS 11 redesign. Control Center looks awesome. It's a, now a single page with all of your controls like your volume, your music, your lock rotation, your portrait lock, whatever you want to call it, your brightness, your flashlight. Like You used to have to swipe two pages. Uh, there was two pages in Control Center. Now you just have one big page. Um, it has 3D touch toggles and platters that you can get more information from and I just think it looks better and more user friendly now with uh, some cool little animations like when uh, the Apple event they showed the little lock button like it would rotate in the uh, button but I can't wait to try this out in person when iOS 11 comes out I'll definitely be doing lots of videos but the only thing I am disappointed about is that Apple did not add group FaceTime I saw this rumor I really think they should have added it to iOS 11 I was looking forward to it because I use FaceTime a lot and I think that it would be a good feature to add to iOS 11 but it is what it is the App Store definitely is redesigned so you're more able to you're more up to date with what's new on the App Store you're more engaged with what apps are popular at the moment like there's a today tab a games tab so you basically have three categories to choose from apple did release a 10.5 inch ipad pro with a slimmer bezel and all new display with 120 hertz rate basically making it a lot smoother um, when you're scrolling and the display adapts to the content that you're viewing which means you'll save power when you don't need it this new iPad Pro is running a A10X chip uh, that has a ridiculous amount of processing power so when you're editing a photo or anything that has to do with graphics it is definitely going to be fast the camera has been replaced with the iPhone 7's camera so there is a 7 megapixel in the front and a 12 megapixel in the back with optimal image with optimal image stabilization and 4K. So quite an upgrade. There are some accessories like a pouch that will hold the Apple Pencil, but not an Apple Pencil tub. So now you'll be able to just throw your Apple Pencil into a pouch, especially if it's it's an expensive pencil and you don't want to lose it. It will be available next week and it comes in 64 gigabytes, 256, and 512, which is as much as a MacBook Pro. It's a lot of storage. Lastly, Apple announced an all new product called HomePods. It's a breakthrough home speaker, but has the Alexa feel to it, uh, but it's Siri inside of it. So you can use it as a smart home device for all your things. Um, you can ask it questions obviously it has seven tweeters one big subwoofer and the speakers are all powered by Apple's A8 chip it can stand in a room and analyze its environment which is pretty cool it uses spatial awareness to figure out what's the best way to produce great sounding music and it really like dives into the vocals and the backgrounds and like like brings it out even more like it's it's such a good speaker um i would definitely consider getting this and apple has been working on this now for years now they are very proud of it and it'll also be coming out in december and it starts at 349 the price is really reasonable considering what technologies you're getting and compared to a lot of other speakers that's a awesome price so there you have it that about wraps up this video. What an awesome Apple event. We got so many new products to look forward to and a lot of improvements. If you enjoy this in-depth recap, hit that like button for me one time. Subscribe for coverage on Apple and more tech and reviews and unboxings. Follow me on all my social media below. Make sure, like I said again, check out my vlog channel and me and Donovan's channel in the links below. I post a lot more on those channels like I said I'm still gonna be doing a lot more here but if you want to see me more consistent and you want to see the other side of me with just my life check out the channel thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one
Peace.